What's going on, everybody? And welcome back to a brand new episode of Maximus the Fourth. Here's my pitch. Over the years, there have been quite a few soda companies that have made it on the mainstream that have become big. For instance, there's Dr. Pepper, there is Pepsi, there's Mountain Dew, which is owned by PepsiCo, there is Coca-Cola. And out of those four huge lines in which Pepsi owns two of them, PepsiCo and Mountain Dew, there have been some side flavors that have also done very well, such as Dr. Pepper Cream Soda, Cherry Coke, Pepsi Mango, and Mountain Dew Code Red. But out of all these side flavors of soda, there is one out there that really sticks to me the most. And I highly doubt that most of you have ever heard of Pepsi Vanilla. This, ladies and gentlemen, is a very elusive and very hard to find Pepsi Vanilla. Today, I'm going to walk you guys through some of the most fascinating history that Pepsi Vanilla has undergone over the years. I'm hoping that my job today is going to be the most entertaining, informative, intriguing, and exciting review. So without further ado, let's get into this. Here we go. In 2002, Coca-Cola had come out with a flavor called Vanilla Coke. And of course, knowing Pepsi, they had to compete. So they too came out with a flavor called Pepsi Vanilla, which was in 2003. This is an original can of Pepsi Vanilla from the first run. This can, it says that it's from February 9th of 2004. Get a nice look at that. And then a diet version was also available, as you can clearly see right here. And then Pepsi Vanilla, it just kind of dwindled away, and it indeed was discontinued in 2008. Now in 2010, there was a Pepsi Vanilla variant that did come out called Pepsi Cherry Vanilla. And then it was discontinued. And it did come back, but that information is for a little bit later on this video. In 2014, uh, there was a Pepsi Vanilla Real Sugar variant that did come out in 2014. And it was only available in the Real Sugar variant. And then it was discontinued for good, and I'm not so sure that it has ever been seen to this very day. Pepsi Cherry Vanilla, however, did make a, another comeback in 2015 for the holiday seasons only, but then it was a very short-lived and limited run, but it did come back, fortunately, in 2016 for Valentine's Day. And then, five years later, the legit stuff of Pepsi Vanilla, the real stuff, not real sugar, the actual stuff, actually finally came back out after 11 years in this right here i wasn't trying to do this but this actually is an authentic bottle of pepsi vanilla from 2019. now here's where the story gets very entertaining and intriguing once 2020 hit there was an aluminum shortage that was nationwide and pepsico of course had to deal with that so what they did is they took some of their side products and Pepsi Vanilla happened to be one of them that they had to cut back on how much they were producing. <coughs> so that way they weren't going to interfere with their main products that were on the mainstream. Pepsi Vanilla was being seen here and there, but because of the aluminum shortage and them cutting back on the production of it, it became a lot more elusive and hard to find. And now to this very day, people might ask, well, what the heck? 
Where's Pepsi Vanilla? Why won't they bring it back? Well, it still does exist in some regions of the states. There is one state that I know of for absolute sure, for dang sure that it's in. That's New Jersey. But I have a very valuable theory and information to share with you guys from my buddy DJ Glowing Ice. The guy is a little bit of a wacko, and he you wouldn't believe some of the unbelievable stuff that he's done on his YouTube channel, but he's one of the smartest dudes that I've ever met. His theory is that the reason why Pepsi might not bring back Pepsi Vanilla in all regions, or in a big part of the regions of the states, is because there is a new drink that came out in 2022 called Nitro Pepsi and Nitro Pepsi Vanilla. And it actually has done so well that it has become a part of the mainstream. And so Pepsi might be saying, well, if you want Pepsi Vanilla bad enough, then why don't you just buy the Nitro Pepsi Vanilla Draft Cola? <coughs> <coughs> DJ Glowing Ice believes that maybe if Pepsi doesn't play their cards right and they flash Pepsi Vanilla all over the Place, it could kill off the potential success that Nitro Pepsi has already had. But he doesn't know exactly, I don't know exactly. It's just a theory, but it is a darn good theory. So thank you, DJ Glowing Ice. So now that I have shared with you guys some of the absolute fascinating information about Pepsi Vanilla, I am now going to undergo a taste test with you guys of an original Pepsi Vanilla from 2019. I will let you know exactly what I think about it, and then as always, that will be the end of the video, so let's get into this. Ooh, that just smells so good. Right off the bat, you're getting an amazing aroma of vanilla, and it's just unstoppable. It's relentless, it's powerful, it's magnifying, it's amazing. The taste of Pepsi Vanilla is just absolutely amazing. I did a video of does Nitro Pepsi Vanilla actually taste like Pepsi Vanilla? And I gave it an 80 to 85% of what Pepsi Vanilla was, is how close it was. But it doesn't quite taste like the legit Pepsi Vanilla stuff. This stuff is absolutely amazing, even with the fizz being gone and this bottle being so old. <coughs> it's not affecting the flavor at all, whatsoever. Pepsi Vanilla is an absolute winner. And, to be quite frankly honest, I absolutely would give this a 10 out of 10. No doubt about it. It's amazing. It's crisp. It is robust. Everything about this flavor is just absolutely perfect. And to be quite frankly honest, I think it tastes better than normal Pepsi. I mean, that's how good it is. So if you do want Pepsi vanilla bad enough, you can find it. You might have to make a drive to New Jersey to go buy some, or if you're lucky enough, you could find somebody from New Jersey that's dealing it on eBay, which there is one guy that I have finally found. <clears throat> but let's say you wanted to be super creative like the LA Beast, being like, oh, let's, let me make my own Crystal Pepsi, ho oh, ho, a thousand coffee filters. What you could do is you could take a can of nitro pepsi vanilla draft cola open the can dump it in a cup and let it sit for a couple days until the co2 nitrogen gas leaves and then you have a flat soda you could invest into a fizz machine and try to revamp all of the original fizz out of the nitro pepsi vanilla draft cola just an idea I don't know if I'll ever do it. I feel like fizz machines are not quite as accurate as the normal producers of any soda drink. 
But it's kind of a cool little idea, and who knows, maybe one of these times I'll do it. But guys, Pepsi Vanilla, if you've never heard of it, it is absolutely awesome. So that's it, you guys. I hope you all learned something new. I hope that this video proved to be educational, entertaining, intriguing, fun, exciting, and completely legit. Maximus the Fourth here. I am signing out. I thank you all, as always, for watching, and I will see you next time.